Right, welcome to a new project. I'm very excited about this project. I think it's going to uh, be something that's really forward-facing and a little bit different uh, than what you've been doing in the past. And I think it's kind of the future of where things are going in terms of blogging or creating a feed uh, that you can easily update without having to create a back-end uh, infrastructure or database. So today we're going to build a static blog using three different technologies, four really, uh, HTML, CSS, we're also going to use jQuery or you could use JavaScript if you want to. Uh, it's going to be very low level uh, JavaScript. And then we're also going to use something that's called Mavo. Now Mavo is a new technology um, that's being put out by MIT in Massachusetts, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. So uh, many people are familiar, it's world famous and their uh, computer science department has created a front-end editing um, JavaScript plugin or application that you can easily add to your website and it allows you to uh, just be in the browser editing your content live and then you can actually create that state just for your own computer or uh, you can save it in GitHub which is what we're gonna do and then you'll be able to preserve the state of the blog across uh, multiple devices or across the internet. So uh, let's get into our goal. So our goal is to create a simple static blog that's editable without a back-end administration dashboard. So if you've ever used uh, WordPress, you know that you have to log in to a back-end uh, for WordPress. The same thing goes for Perch. Perch is a, uh, a static blog blogging system. <laughs> I guess, uh, that you add to uh, a regular static website and then you can create elements. Um, but you have to still go through a, da a back-end dashboard. You gotta log in, you gotta do the things on the back-end. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna try to do all of our editing on the front end. And I'm telling you this is possible because I've actually created uh, what I'm calling a feed. Uh, it's not really a blog per se, although it's kind of behaving like a blog but it, it's somewhere in between a blog and what you would see on Twitter or Facebook or something like that. So let's take a look at it. It's called the front end feed and this is just a a place where I'm collecting articles. Um, collecting articles, so links and tools and videos that I watch uh, or that I think are particularly good for front end developers or for designers. Uh, so you can see um, this is all created uh, on the front end. So I've created the the files, the HTML structure. I've attached Mavo to it and now whenever I want to make changes or I want to add a new link all I have to do is get on the front end and then change it. So these are um, you know you can see that they're links out to real places. So the way that I log in, I've got two ways to do it. One is uh, I've created a little login button down here, um, or I could go up here and log in directly through a URL. So if I just click login, you know, it's giving me an error. So let's try it up here. Okay, had to fix that uh, link. So it's asking me if I want to log in at GitHub. I say yes, and then now I have an editor toolbar here. I'm connected to Mavo and so it allows me to go through and make changes. So if I'm editing, you can see that I'm editing this big uh, piece of content here. So we're going to create this in HTML in our project. I can either delete it, uh, I can move it like this. So you can move things around or you could add a new one. Um, and let's say I just wanted to make a new link category and then I can call it whatever I want to. I'll call it um, a new link. I'll put it here and then I can just write a little text um, and then I've also created a button so I have this linking and I also have a button that's linking so I'm just I essentially and creating a little, um, you know, read article or try it or just something that's a call to action. So, 
So we put our call to action and then we have our link and then when I'm finished editing I can get off of edit and it'll show everything as it's supposed to be shown. Uh, I can save it and then now uh, I can go to my new link number one and I can also whenever I refresh the page it's loading in all of my information and that's actually been created. Um, in fact I'll show you I'll do control F5 and you can see that this is preserved um, the state of this has been preserved now there's a way to preserve state inside the browser if you don't want anybody else to be able to see this and it's just for your own purposes but if you want to be able to share this like a blog with others then this is a really great way uh, to preserve state and then when I'm finished I can just log out I don't need this and then when a person hits the website, that's what they have. Uh, so this is a really great uh, tool to be able to use. Um, let's see if I can get back into this. Okay. Uh, there we go. Oh. So it's a really great tool to be able to use. And you can see that I can do all of my editing on the front end without any sort of uh, back-end admin dashboard. All I'm doing is I'm giving permission to uh, GitHub to connect with my website so that I can use GitHub uh, as a place to store my information. Now we're storing the information in a JSON file. Um, if you're not familiar with JSON, it's called uh, JavaScript Object Notation. And JSON is like creating a single static file that has a lot of different pieces of data inside of it. So the data is in a key value pair. So you have a, a key and then you have a value that goes with it. Sim similar to CSS, right? So CSS uh, properties have a key and a value. So there's a property and then there's a value. Uh, it's a similar idea with JavaScript object notation or JSON. And JSON is a super lightweight and easy way to connect um, to data on the web. In fact, if you've done any sort of API work or that type of thing where you're connecting to data from another website, you probably tapped into an API and how to go through the API. Well, Mavo has actually uh, kind of created their own easier way to access that data and that information. Um, so when you're, when you're uh, inputting the data, it also creates a link to be able to pull the data. So uh, you'll see whenever we get into the Mavo in the HTML, uh, how easy it is to work with. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, the tools that we need. So the tools we're going to use are pretty basic. Uh, you just need a text or a code editor. Uh, I'm going to be using CodePen, and uh, I'll give you a link to that um, the CodePen for each episode, so you'll be able to see it. Uh, we also need Mavo, and Mavo you can find it at mavo.io. You need a GitHub account for this particular tutorial. Uh, get a, you can get a free GitHub account. You don't have to pay for it. <clears throat> and what that's going to do is that's going to hold our JSON file so that it makes it accessible to the world so that the you know anyone can see it just like um, we just showed before. It loads it in from the JSON file, but that JSON file has to be somewhere. Uh, there are different ways, and you can look into Mavo more about how to um, put Mavo on your own server or your own website or use different uh, coding technologies with it. It's very flexible. And then last we'll do a little bit of jQuery. Um, jQuery is just a JavaScript library. Uh, I find it a lot easier for me personally to use. Uh, you could use vanilla jo JavaScript if you wanted to. We're not going to do anything super high level. We're going to try to create a, a load more button. So you load maybe the first 10 and then there's a button that allows uh, more of the the articles to load in, kind of a lazy loading sort of system, but probably super basic lazy loading. If you don't want to do that, you can skip that step and just have everything load on the page. That's what I have on the website I just showed you. And then I've created actually a filter structure so that I can filter through those. So if you don't want to see uh, the videos per se, or you just want to see only links or tools, then you can go and just pull up those things. Um, individually as categories kind of like a category on a blog alright so that is um, that's the beginning of our project I'm very excited the next 
uh, video, I'm going to show you uh, the HTML structure and the setup, and then we're going to uh, also do the CSS as a part of the structure, and then uh, just kind of build a shell that we can then load our information into. I'm excited. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.